Hey guys, I'm going to show you first how to jailbreak your iPod or iPhone. First, I have a link in the description, but here is the website. You're going to go to, uh, let's see here, Safari. Let's see if I can find it right here. You have to go to, right here, you have to go, once you load this page up, you scroll all the way down to the bottom and download the Mac version if you have a Mac or the Windows version. Preferably this tutorial is for people who have the Mac version. So get that and you're all set. The next step is going to be locating your document. When you have this, go to what your name is, go to downloads and find it. It should be right here. It should be in a folder. And here it is, Red Snow. And once you have this, open up the application. So, right here. It will say, is there is a newer version. Do not click that link. I clicked it last time. It's just a bunch of crap. Just don't do it. Um, Alright, next, you're going to watch this video. This next video on how I actually do it. Other than watching the screen, this is what you're going to be doing next on your iPod. The next thing you're going to do with this is you're going to, when you are on the process, it's going to tell you to hold down the home button and the, um, the off button. And you're going to hold it down for about five seconds. Then you're going to hold down the home, you're going to, you're going to release the power button and you're going to keep holding on the home button for about 15 more seconds. And then you have to release the home button and hold the power button right here and it should put your iPod in DFU mode which then will be able to jailbreak it and it'll just um, set a bunch of stuff on your iPod and you'll see a bunch of white lines here it's not bad you'll see like hundreds of code it'll be scrolling down scrolling down in a black background that is good Nothing bad is happening, that's just how it's working, so don't freak out and think your iPod is being is breaking or something. It's just finding the files to install on your iPod. Next, um, just give it a second. Sometimes it takes 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, just for it to, you know, load everything on there so you can use it. And then you'll be all ready, and you'll have a new app. You'll have a new app on it. It'll be called Loader. It'll it'll be green and it'll be called Loader. And um, uh, in the description, a uh, link for a picture what Loader looks like. If or you could just Google it. You probably just are gonna Google it. And um, Loader, what you do is you click Loader and it says install the packages and you click Cydia and then you click install in the top right corner because it'll have install packages here and then it will have uh, Cydia, blah blah blah, other stuff that some it'll have Cydia, like I see, uh, rock something, I'm not sure. Uh, just install Cydia and click the button right here, install, and then in about it'll it should take like t 10 minutes. Mine took 10 minutes, but uh, yours will probably be shorter if you have um, a better software version. So just try that. And next, after you have the thing install Cydia, you have Cydia on here, and you can delete the loader app. It'll, um, if you hold down the thing, it should have an X next to it to delete loader. There's really no further reason to keep loader because it's just a waste of space. Um, you could keep it if you want because it's not that many megabytes. I believe it's kilobytes. I, th I believe it's a thousand kilobytes or something. But, um, Loader, you really don't need that app, so you can just delete that and launch Cydia, and it'll do a bunch of preferences. The little, uh, wheel will, the little wheel will spin, and you should, it'll give you a tutorial on how to use Cydia and install apps. Um, one of the things I recommend for you to do when you have Cydia all launched up, <clears throat> what you should do is, <clears throat> you should, um, go to your sources and you should uh, first you should add this really cool source it's called sinful iphone repo dot 
com. It has the coolest apps. It it has just the coolest stuff. That's just um a little info. But um yeah, the first thing I would do is I'd add that source to my sources because Sinful iPhone Repo has some really cool apps. So check them out and uh thanks for watching. Have fun.